What is happening? Welcome back to the Pass Alive. Thank you all for joining me tonight as we rip into some packages for another mail day video. And we got a brand new baseball card product that I'm excited to open tonight. Titled Rippin' Dickies Slammin' 50 Mystery Pack. Now you may remember a while back I opened a different mystery pack from Rippin' Dickies titled the Hot Smash Mystery Pack. And it was pretty freaking awesome. Still available on eBay as well as the new Slammin' 50. I noticed on the bottom over here we do have a note that is safely tucked away underneath. We're going to rip into this first. And we have a couple other packages to savagely tear into afterwards. So if you have a product that you're selling out there, you want to get it some uh, airtime, feel free to send me an email and I'd be happy to open it up and showcase it for my mail day videos. So the note says, I'm back with a brand new creation, Rip and Dickies Slim and 50. It's a product that you can either slowly swashbuckle your way through or savagely rip. As you might guess by the name, there will be 50 cards per box, 49 singles plus one graded card. Singles will come in the following five categories. Hall of Fame, Stars, Rookie, Prospects, and Hits. Each box is guaranteed to have one graded card, one auto, one to two rookie parallels, and three numbered cards, and or two numbered cards and one short print. My mission, as always, was to create a box that is fun and exciting to rip without breaking the bank. My last box, Hot Smash, was well-received and enjoyed by many. It got 100% positive feedback on eBay. I did notice that, too. He has 100% positive feedback. So, I worked diligently to make this box even better for the money. And this one is definitely a little cheaper than a Hot Smash box. This is $49 plus $6.99 shipping. There's the item number right there, but I'm going to link everything down below conveniently so you can click on that button and go directly to the uh, post on eBay. Ask about bulk shipping deals. The price is only $43 plus $7 shipping if alternative payment methods are used. So you can reach out directly to him and get some deals. They include PayPal, Venmo, and or Bitcoin. $43 worth, not one full Bitcoin. Text for more information. So I don't think he really minds... If I put his number out here, I believe I showed it before, but the 541-912-1400. Hope all of you have a great time ripping the Slammin' 50. And I'm excited. So thank you very, very much for sending this my way to showcase on this channel, as well as the Hot Smash. Like I said, I think everyone liked the Hot Smash box, and uh, it definitely was well-received from the video. And he also sent me a different package, too. I kind of... I didn't open that one yet. We'll go through this, and then we'll check out what else he sent. So... Inside of the Slim and 50 pack, we have our slab down below. We will rip into that last, I believe. We have some carefully wrapped stacks of cards. Nicely team bag. We have Hall of Fame prospects, and we got rookie packs in this stack. The next one, it looks like we're going to have bonus pack for John. That's so cool, you. Very, very cool. Stars and hits. So where do we begin? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll do prospects. Like you saw on the note, a lot of guarantees. There's a Jordan Walker on the back of this one. Always nice to see him. Let's see what we got in the prospects pack. So again, these are 49 bucks plus the $7 shipping. Unless you reach out and you do bulk deals or contact him directly, save yourself some money. But here's a nice one. I don't have this in my PC. I'm pretty excited about it. It is a Drew Jones first bum and chrome. That card... Took the hobby by storm earlier this year. It was crazy. I don't have that one, though, so that will definitely go in the rookie box. Jared Kelnick. You got the Mojo Chrome. It's definitely a nice one as well. Of course, forgive me in the new card knowledge. It's not all that great as uh, everyone else is, so bear with me here. George Kirby, Bowman Chrome Prospect. We have Jordan Lawler. This is an insert card, Modern Prospects. Nice one there. Rodolfo Nolasco, first Bowman. And I keep these first Bowmans typically not considered rookie cards, but I still keep them anyways because they are very collectible to a lot of people. Zach Veen is a nice one. Marco Luciano. And Bryce Jarvis, first Bowman Chrome, along with Trey Sweeney insert, Virtuosic Vibrations, and Jordan Walker. Prism insert, Power Surge. Very sparkly looking card. Might look nice on the mantle if you're trying to woo and wow the ladies. Nice way to start off. We'll go to the start pack next and get into more of my realm of collecting. And we have a nice Soto to start things off. Beam Team. I didn't even know they made Beam Team. I know they made those for basketball in the early 90s and 
They got a lot of value to them these days, but that is a very sweet one. So the Mike Trout, Trey Turner Refractor from this year's Chrome is a nice one. Mookie Betts. Nice star pack so far. I opened a box of these a while back. But we have an SPX Barry Bonds. Those were one per pack. One card per pack back then. And they were pretty freaking awesome. Back when they came out in 96. A Bonds 91 per deck. Sliding in there. Will Clark and his unibrow. I don't remember Will Clark ever having a freaking unibrow. Is that a Mandela effect? Let me know in the comments. Very interested to see what you have to say. By what Jr. Bowman Base. We got a Clayton Kershaw. Well, 2016 Donruss. I've never seen that card before. And we have a rock solid insert of A Rod. These are pretty cool inserts from like the late 90s, I believe, or maybe mid 90s, actually. 96, I believe. RS1. But very, very cool looking card. Nice pack of stars to continue onward towards. You know what? Let's do the bonus pack. It looks like there might be 89, 89 tops pack in there. Either 89 or 86. We shall find out. It's an 89 pack. Let's open it up. Let's see what we get in here. Thank you for sending that as a bonus. I appreciate it. Why the hell? <laughs> Why is there so many pieces that come in there? <laughs> what is going on? Is there... Oh, no. It's because it's been tampered with. I was going to say, I see already this is not just an 89 Tops pack. We have some dorky antics happening here. Sherman Corbett, very dorky card. Kevin Bass, of course, is going to show up. <laughs> 88 Donruss Kevin Bass I have the plaque directly in front of me we got plenty of Bass in here we got Vance Law who was my arch enemy as a kid we hated Vance Law so badly I don't know why another Kevin Bass so many Kevin Bass so little red pant oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon the card that is taking the world by storm the red pants of Kevin Bass I don't know where the actual original uh Red Pants Kevin Bass card is. It's somewhere probably on the floor, but this was... Um, I, was this... I can't remember who sent this. Was it... Um, I honestly can't remember. It very well might have been the creator of Rip and Dickies who sent that last time. I know... I, I can't remember. It's been probably almost a year, but <laughs> we have recreated it once again. 88 Tops Kevin Bass. So many. I might as well just... Might as well start PCing him. Ron Kittle... Deep in thought and dorkiness there. Uh, star stickers, Kevin Bass. And <laughs> look at that. Kevin Bass on card auto. Now, this is one I did not have. And the dorky antics of Paul Gibson will forever haunt every one of us. That's that's pretty sick, though. I might have to put that alongside the, uh, the Kevin Bass 1 and 1 half 86. Side by side on card auto of Kevin Bass. <laughs> I indirectly, I guess, started PCing him. And it all started because I bought a collection of random, a lot of random junk wax. And uh, for some reason, there's 89 Tops Kevin Bass. And someone had colored, like a kid had colored his pants red. And I'm like, what the hell is this when I pulled it out of the box? And that, uh, the rest is history. We'll do a hit pack next. So, <laughs> nice way to start it off, though. And we got a Bryce Harper. Big fan of Bryce Harper, top's finest, and it's numbered out of 175. 169 out of 175 from last year's finest. That's a pretty freaking awesome card. A Mount Castle Snowflake, second year Gold Cup. I love Topps Holiday. I love it so much. Raphael Devers, Diamond Kings. Parallel's a nice one as well. Alex Verdugo, Rainbow Foil. And we have a Kyle Mitchell. Is it going to be an autograph? It is. That is pretty freaking awesome. On card, purple. Kyle Mitchell, Rookie Auto, out of two ninety nine from this year's Topps Chrome. Check that out. Very, very cool stuff there from the hometown Buckos. We got a Woodruff Parallel, the red, white, and blue from Prism from a few years back. 2021, I believe. Joey Votto, Big League. That is also a parallel. There is Chapman, Refractor, Topps Chrome a couple years back. And look at this, a Castellanos. Um, short print from last year's tops. That's pretty freaking awesome. Tops update, actually. Very, very cool stuff. And we're still not done with the Slim and 50 pack, and we still got a graded card to fall back on. Let's do, uh, let's do rookies next. We see a Jaron Duran rookie on the back of this next pack. 
So for 49 bucks, you're getting a lot of goodies in here. Luis Robert rookie card from Stadium Club Crumb. Definitely a nice one. And Junior Fernandez, pink Crumb from 2020. It's his rookie card. I'll put that in the rookie box. Mercedes insert from over, over, or Overdrive from a few years back. Adley Rushman, always good to have his rookie card. And a Will Clark rookie. Look at that. I guess he did kind of have, have a unibrow. Never, ever noticed that. Again, definitely a Mandela effect. <laughs> Kevin Moss, rookie, randomly thrown in there back in 1990. I'd be a millionaire as a kid right now. I'd be gloating seeing that card. Bobby Dahlbeck, 92 Tops design. Nice one. Jordan Alvarez, Turkey Red from 2020. Julio Rodriguez, rookie debut is definitely a nice one. And look at that. A Jaron Duran uh, prism. Is that a prism refractor? I guess it is. I don't know. My terminology on new cards is absolute crap, so feel free to correct me if you must. But this is definitely one that I will put in my rookie box. So that is a nice surprise in the rookie pack. Keeps getting better and better. We got a Hall of Fame pack next. I see Vladdy Guerrero from the mid 90s, collective choice in the back. Larry Walker starts it off. Second year Larry Walker from 91 Fleer Ultra. There's an 83 Henderson early on in his career. Nice one there. McCovey Moonshots. Can't say I've ever seen one of those before. From Gypsy Queen. Whoa, over 10 years ago. That's pretty awesome. Dave Winfield, Donruss Parallel from a few years back. Gary Carter, looking overly happy for once on a card. Most of his photos were very depressing, I feel like. Alan Trammell, I don't know if I've ever seen this Fleer set before. Fleer had so many freaking like little mini sets in the 80s. Very, very hard to keep track of all of them. Mike Schmidt, 89 Donruss. We have Robin Yount, 2016 Donruss Parallel. Some sort of pink border parallel. Stan Musial, Stadium Club Crumb is a nice one as well. Nolan Ryan, 5,000 Ks from 90 Don Russ. And there is the rookie class of Vladdy Guerrero. I think it's a second year card, I believe. Or actually, third year. It was 97 collector's choice. So, very nice. And we still got the graded card to fall back on regardless. As if, I feel like the 49 bucks has already been recouped based on what I've seen just in those packs. And you got a bonus of a graded card. So, what is it going to be? Slow reel. I won't look. I promise. It's an SGC. And I looked. I lied. Well, look at that. Masataka Yoshida. SGC Chrome Rookie Card. That is pretty freaking awesome right there. Very, very nice. Love SGC slabs. It looks so freaking nice. In that tuxedo color scheme. Awesome stuff. I will keep that probably with my rookie collection. And uh, see how Yoshida pans out. But uh, very, very awesome uh, box there. Love the bonus packs, of course, with Kevin Bass. And I feel like the uh, the price point is definitely good. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. I'd love to hear from you guys, but uh, price point-wise, I think that he is uh, right on point with that. And there's another package here he sent and included that I have not yet opened. I don't know what's in here, but... <laughs> oh, no! Look at this! John, the irony is now you finally own this classic, but maybe it's it still can't watch it because it's in VHS. I actually have a VHS player sitting right next to me, a TV VCR combo. Then again, this is John we're talking about. He probably has two or three old VHS players <laughs> and perhaps even a beta player laying around. I, I definitely do. I most definitely do. So the original, I don't know if I've ever seen this version of the Goonies, like this case, I mean. I do have it on DVD. I just have not watched it. Nick West took the liberty of sending it to me. He bought it off Amazon and sent it directly to my house. Or to my P.O. Box a while ago. And I still haven't watched it. But maybe now that i got the VHS tape. It will inspire me even more to watch this classic film. That I know nothing about. So <laughs> very, very cool added bonus. I will watch this very soon. I promise. But I know you've all heard that before. I love these old cases. They're so sick. Thank you so much for sending that my way. Very, very awesome product you, that you have here. Please check it out. I've linked everything down below in the description so that you can go grab yourself a box. And of course, please let me know uh, what you think of the Slammin' 50 Mystery Pack. Check out the Hot Smash Pack as well. I'll link the video for that down below in the description. Uh, the, the next one we have, we have two pieces of mail here. This one I already savagely sw swashbuckled my way into, but it's from... Doc Gooden Forever, if you guys recognize his name from the Facebook group. Um, I don't know if he's in the Facebook group or not, actually, but uh, from the live chat, he sent me a PWE that says, Offensive Signage, I finally found it. 
And so I do collect. I have a weird, obscure collection of mostly older cards. After the whole Reddy Johnson Marlboro incident happened, they censored that card. I was like, all the other remaining cards with Budweiser logos and Marlboro and stuff like that, I wanted to just grab them and put them aside. Because I was like, well, if they censored that card, why didn't they, didn't they censor any of these other ones that are very prominent in the background? So uh, I started putting those aside, and he sent me a Wilson Contreras with a big freaking Jim Beam. I feel like it's more common on newer cards to see these uh, different alcohol and tobacco companies, whereas older cards, it was more so frowned upon. Minor league cards is very uh, prevalent all throughout minor league cards, if you look at those, but... This is from a few years back, 2020 Wilson Contreras, Jim Beam. Can't miss that one. I will put that into my offensive signage box. So, Doc Gooden Forever, thank you very much for sending that. I appreciate it, man. The next one we have is from a John L. from Oregon. So, what do we have here? <laughs> we have some Taco Bell merch. I <laughs> get a free crunchy taco sauce. That's pretty sick. And it still has like a month to go until it expires. You can't go wrong with giving the gift that keeps on giving Taco Bell coupons. And look at this. A Ghostbusters button. That is pretty freaking awesome. Check that out. Here to save the world. I definitely do not have this one either. So that's a very, very cool collection of the PC, John. Thank you for that. I have no idea what this last piece is. Is it, is it a comic? Is it a couple comics? Whoa, look at that. It's pretty freaking awesome because I don't see these comics that often. I've definitely never seen this one. And the best part about it is it is the real Ghostbusters, my personal favorite. And some sort of portal opening up there from Mars and Egon blasting whatever it is. Floating fright at the farm. This is freaking absolutely sick, man. John, you crushed it, man. The button, the coupon, and the comic. Love it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you to Doc Gooden Forever and also Rippin' Dickies. You guys are awesome. Like I said, if you want me to rip open your mystery pop products or whatever it may be, uh, send me an email and we will go from there. And I may feature them on an upcoming mail day here sometime soon. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Thank you all for watching.